Hi everyone, Paul here with PTZ Optics. And in this video, we are going to, to go over Hive collaboration, how you can share invitations with anyone in the world to control your PTZ cameras, view your production, and direct and switch your entire stream. Let's look at the interface now. So here at Hive, we have a couple different really important concepts to understand about collaboration and sharing. Now in the top right, we have the share button, which is how you can instantly share your entire production with others. The other concept is the local mode. So this button here switches between cloud mode and local mode. And we're gonna talk about these two concepts here in this meeting, in this video. So first of all, let me click the share button in local mode, by the way. And what I'm gonna do is show you kind of your options for sharing. Now, what we can do is we can send a link for someone to be an admin of your entire studio so they can control all sources and invite other users into the studio. You can have a producer who can control all of your sources or specific sources if you just want to allow them to control specific cameras. And you can have a viewer, so someone who can just view all of the camera sources uh, but cannot control them in any way. So those are our three main roles that we can send out. Now, once we have someone and into our system, we also have the ability to set an expiration date. So we can give someone control over PTZ cameras just for a specific amount of time, and then the time will be revoked. So we can set an expiration to their access. We can also change access, remove users, and we can also create a link that is a doesn't need to have an email address associated with it. So we can create a viewer link, copy it, and share it on social media or share it with a group of people. So you can do that uh, privately and send those links out. Now, I've already sent Mike Luttermoser a uh, connection. Uh, he's gonna be our producer today. And what I wanna do is just show you really quickly what happens when Mike joins. So Mike has got the link to join this and what's gonna happen is his little icon is going to appear here letting us know that Mike is in the studio. Now you'll notice that we are in local mode right now. We are not in cloud mode. Mike and other collaborators, here he comes, so that now we can see that Mike is here and he's in our studio. And I can hover over his name and see that uh, he's here. We are in local mode. Mike and I are both in the same local area network. So you can have as many collaborators as your plan can handle, collaborate and use Hive on the local area network without having to enable cloud mode. What is cloud mode? Well, we're gonna talk more deeply about that in an upcoming video, but essentially we can enable cloud mode, which will allow others from outside your local area network to connect into Hive. So when cloud mode is on, you will be using your allotted cloud usage. And we'll talk about that more in an upcoming video. I hope that the collaboration features here at Hive are exciting for you. I know we're super excited about what's possible collaborating with live streaming, video production, and PTC camera control. Let us know what you think in the comments below. We're happy to answer your questions.